It took technology and teamwork to put Americans on the moon. The eagle has landed. And it would take a big team to get them home safely. Word came out, you know, we're going to Hawaii and then we're going to South Pacific for recovery. Tom Keyes of Andover and Steve Culpepper of Jordan were young sailors in the summer of 69 aboard the USS Hornet, an aircraft carrier diverted from Vietnam to the Apollo 11 recovery mission. Squadrons that we had carried over took off and suddenly the ship was empty. And, then, and from that point on, it was like no sweat. It's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Roger, the uh, Hornet is uh, on the station, uh, just far enough off the target point to uh, keep from getting hit. Splashdown, July 24th in the middle of the Pacific, 12 miles from the Hornet. Apollo 11, Apollo 11, this is Hornet, Hornet, over. As the ship closed the gap, a big Sikorsky helicopter moved in and one by one pulled the astronauts to safety. As an aircraft director, it was Tom's job to get the chopper, number 66, parked in the right part of the right hangar. We just had to get it in there without damaging it, and uh, which was, you know, a 19-year-old aircraft director in charge of stuff like this is I, I still hard to believe. But they all waved, and yeah. we had a bunch of people down there watching them, and it was just great. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins emerged in hazmat suits, headed to a modified Airstream trailer for a 30-day quarantine. The worry was they'd brought back exotic space germs. If there was such a thing we'd probably still be out there. <laughs> that's, that's not funny. <laughs> that's, that's probably true. Tom grabbed his trusty Minolta to capture some snapshots of history unfolding. And yes, that's President Nixon on his way to visit the new heroes. That thing was jammed with guys hanging out with cameras. You were one of those guys. Yeah, I was. Now, the command module still needed to be fished out of the sea. Yeah, and that's where Bill Steen just... of Lake City comes in. I was so excited, I, I just couldn't put a word on it. Bill was also a young aircraft director on the Hornet, but his mission that day, to hoist a spaceship destined for a museum. That's my original picture I took of it when I was standing alongside of it. That's how close I was of it. They picked me as a elevator operator to do this, and I had to go through Secret Service clearance and all this, and I had Marines guard my elevator. Now they put the capsule in the hangar and connected it to the astronaut's trailer with a plastic tunnel, where Tom Keyes snapped this shot of Buzz Aldrin. And just as they'd had to talk to the president through a window, the Apollo crew could only look at that post-flight cake. The head uh, mess chief cooked them a big cake, which they couldn't eat. Here's your cake. <laughs> <laughs> but we could. But Tom keeps his Apollo memories in one place in his basement, including pieces of the heat foil that fell off the capsule. But like most veterans, Tom and Steve downplay their roles. I'm fortunate to have been a participant. And that's special. It's accident, but it's special. I had a nickname, Teddy Bear. Bill says he didn't grasp the significance at the time, but now cherishes his memories from the Apollo recovery missions. It's amazing stuff, and I just enjoy it to these days that I was part of that. All right, they've got the flag up now. For the CARE 11 News Extra, I'm John Croman. I love that. Love those guys. The USS Hornet is now at a museum in California, and that's where the Minnesota crew members are headed for their 50th reunion.